Hello and welcome to this video. In this presentation, I'll introduce the concept of alignment of instruction. To get started, let's first talk about what we mean when we say instruction. Your instruction is made up of four main components. Learning objectives, teaching strategies, learning activities, and assessments. These are the components we're referring to as needing to be aligned. So what does it mean for instruction to be aligned? Instruction is aligned when the learning objectives have corresponding teaching strategies, learning activities, and assessments. How do we know when instruction is aligned versus misaligned? We start with the stated learning objectives, which describe what students will be able to do once they complete the instruction. We then look at the teaching strategies and ask, are we teaching the students how to do what's stated in the learning objectives? Then we look at the learning activities and ask, do the students have an opportunity to practice or acquire the outcome stated in the learning objective? Lastly, we look at the assessments and ask, are we measuring how well students have mastered the learning outcome described in the learning objective? If we can answer yes to each of these questions, then we say that the instruction is aligned. If we answer no to one or more of these questions, then the instruction is misaligned, and one or more of the four components must be revised to bring the instruction into alignment. Let's take a look at a scenario which illustrates this concept. In the scenario displayed, the instruction has been simplified to include one of each component of instruction. Please pause the video and take a moment to review the instruction for alignment, thinking about these questions. So, what do you think? Is the instruction aligned? Why or why not? The correct answer is that this instruction is well aligned. The learning objective states that the students will be able to design a GUI using MATLAB. The teaching strategy, voiceover screen capture demonstrating how to design a GUI using MATLAB, teaches the students how to achieve the learning outcome described in the learning objective. The learning activity for this instruction explains that students will design a GUI using MATLAB and exchange their work with a classmate for feedback. Finally, the assessment explains that as a part of a mini research project, the students will design a GUI in MATLAB to display the simulations in connection with their research. Notice that each of the four components of instruction includes the same key element, designing a GUI in MATLAB. Also notice that based on the descriptions provided, we can answer yes to each of the questions. This instruction is aligned. On the next slide, we'll look at another sample, but this time we'll purposely introduce misalignment. Pause the video to review the instruction and think about why or how the instruction is misaligned. Also think about what could be done to bring this instruction back into alignment. Can you see why this instruction is misaligned? Even though each component refers to joint and conditional entropies, different skills are indicated in each component. We have calculate, define, discuss, and compare and contrast. To bring this instruction into alignment, we would select one of these skills and thread it through each of the components of instruction. For example, we could select calculate and realign each of the components like this. A discussion on instructional alignment would be incomplete without explaining why it is important. Aligned instruction keeps you and your students going in the right direction. Just like a car with aligned wheels keeps the car driving straight, aligned instruction will keep you and your students from drifting into uncharted waters. Aligned instruction is instrumental in measuring student learning. If your instruction is aligned, you can be certain that your student assessments measure how well they've mastered what you've taught. And finally, aligned instruction helps properly measure the effectiveness of the instruction. For example, if your instruction is well aligned, but the students poorly demonstrate their mastery of a stated learning outcome, it can help you target areas for improving your instruction. On the other hand, misaligned instruction may be fragmented and ineffective. It will cause students to receive mixed messages 
because you're teaching one thing, but assessing them on something different altogether. It will cause students to spend time on meaningless activities because they'll practice concepts or skills that aren't going to be assessed or used later in any other meaningful way. And it may cause you to over or underestimate the effectiveness of the instruction. For example, if students do poorly on an assessment, you may think it's because your instruction is poor, when actually your instruction is outstanding but doesn't relate to the assessment or learning objectives. A few final words about alignment before I summarize and wrap up. This notion of alignment of instructional components is woven across many of the Quality Matters standards, a nationally recognized peer review program that examines the instructional design quality of online and blended courses. The importance of aligned instruction is one driving force behind using the course design matrix as a tool for designing your course. The CDM allows you to examine the components of instruction closely for alignment because of its row-by-row -row modular layout. Let's take a moment to summarize what we've covered in this video. Instruction is aligned when the learning objectives have corresponding teaching strategies, learning activities, and assessments. You can determine if instruction is aligned by thinking carefully about how each component of instruction is related. Alignment is important because it helps ensure that you and the students are on the same page. The CDM helps us guarantee alignment of instruction. This concludes this video about instructional alignment. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to post a comment. Thanks for watching.